Hello everybody, welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro. We have a 9-15 right now. Our record in net is 14-4-3, pretty solid with a 2-28. The team is third in the league right now with a record of 19-10-3, so the boys are buzzing for sure. Let's view the lines. And Leon did finally pick it up, it seemed like, last video anyway. Yeah, he's at uh, 22 points now, or 21, sorry. That was awful math. But regardless, we have Nuge, McDavid, and Yam still on the first line. The lines look pretty much the same. I don't think much has changed other than the fact that Ratcliffe is here on the fourth line. What is his potential? Medium top six. Okay, let's go. Let's go. And on defense, we have Nurse Barry. Good pairing. Uh, Giordano, Bouchard, Hall, and Graves. I wish it showed you the line chemistry, even though we can't edit the lines anyway. It'd just be cool to see. Uh, and then we got TJ at 85 now and Fransu's at 83. 83. So... Um, is there anything I could do? No, we're still trying to get that shut out on a hunt for that so that we can unlock the Sponge X Factor for next season. And we have the LA Kings coming up right here. Again, the playoff series is probably already done by the time this video is coming out. But yeah, Edmonton Oilers, LA Kings, they are 25th in the league right now. So they're not off to a great start where, you know, the Oilers doing pretty solid in this season so let's do it simulate game uh yes please first period boom mm, rough only six shots as well that guy looks like he is not old enough to be in this league but anyway second period boom oh what a second now we'll jump into this one this one seems pretty solid okay here we go edmonton oilers la kings and we currently have a two to one lead heading into the final 20 which is splendid my goalie is stuck in the butterfly position apparently and now we have a face off to the right of tj so yeah they started off the period strong came in ripped a shot and now we are almost coughing it up right in front of the net again i thought we would have learned by now but apparently not so uh, if we could you know maybe at next practice just Work on getting rid of the puck in front of the net. I would not be opposed to that. McDavid is buzzing up the ice. Nice pass in the middle. What a save by Ranta, though. In the oven mitt. Oh, he's got a sick helmet. But, yeah. That was unfortunate. They should do that, actually. I just thought of that now. I mean, obviously, people will ruin it by doing things that they should not. But having, like, custom masks. Like, you just get shapes and stuff, or... Like, all the old logos of the team, you can kind of adjust the size of the logo and move it around the helmet. That would be elite if they ever added that in. I mean, they could do it and not give you, like, custom shapes even. So that way you don't have the option to, like, you know, <laughs> put a phallic object on the helmet of a goalie and the la kings are headed to the power play as dry tripped a man yeah can't be doing that so we have to kill a penalty here we have an 84.5 percent penalty kill rate which is not bad not bad at all well i don't know actually that's a that's a bold statement for me because i'm not too familiar with what a good and bad power play slash penalty kill percentage is so maybe that's poo actually for all i know but it seems okay, you know, like we're killing 85% of the penalties that we take. That seems decent to me, but regardless, let's see if we can kill this one here and bump that percentage up. So this team actually does seem to have some players that, you know, they normally would not. Um, they have Mikheyev, which is interesting. Who was it I saw on the draw, too? There was someone at the center dot on the first line, I think, that is not on the LA Kings, but was in this. I don't know. I'm, like, completely blanking right now. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure. But anyway, Turcott, he's in, and he passes it to Mikheyev. That will be saved on the blocker there. Velarde with it. Point shot. Oh, it is bouncing around. Wow, that was scary. But the defense managed to block it. Ooh, gave it up right in the slot. I got a pad on that one, but barely. Superman almost had a goal. Are you kidding me? Like, no, dude. I should have poke-checked. That's, that's partially on me, for sure. 
Brutal. Uh. Uh. The puck drops and everything. Okay, what was that? That was weird. I could hear... What do you mean sinking? <laughs> what do you mean? What's going on? Has anyone ever had this happen? Will a whistle fix it? Please? That was strange. That was very strange. I have never had that happen before. But I am glad that it is done. <laughs> that was a very... That would have been a very difficult hurdle to overcome, I should say. We didn't really have to because I didn't have to make a save. But yeah, I literally couldn't see the screen. So that was a nightmare. Thankfully, it has fixed itself. And we are back to normal here. Nyquist gonna get rocked by Giordano. Great hit. Nuge with it. In the neutral zone, he's gonna cough it up to Kokatar. Co <laughs> Kokatar? Who's that? Never heard of him before. Wow. I really cannot speak. It's actually borderline impressive at this point. How I managed to screw up the easiest words. I mean, sometimes I do it on purpose, you know? Like intra fence and stuff like that and people <laughs> sometimes people aren't a fan of that but too bad i'm gonna keep doing it and yeah if i don't do it on purpose that's usually when i call myself out on it and i'm like what did i just say like kopitar kokatar absolutely did not mean to do that but now he has to be like chara and drink a bottle of coke on the bench and then he will officially be kokatar um kind of sounds like a a pokemon you know a little bit nice try boys all right, it's 2-2, 10 minutes to go here, and hopefully we take home the W. I'm sick and tired of overtimes. If we could avoid that, that would be great. I mean, sure, I love that we get a point. Yeah, awesome. I'll take a point over no point. But if we could get two points and avoid the extra minutes of play, that sounds like a great situation to me. Very solid play from the lads there, but... I don't know if he hit the side of the net or if the goalie got a piece of it. That is saved. And I have follow. Pass that out to you, Barry. Probably a risky maneuver, but... You know, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. That is definitely not always true. But I'm going to go with it anyway. Drew Doughty is plowing up the ice. Gets it to Turcott, who tries to take a shot. And that will go off the defender. And now Denno in the middle to Barry. He's going to... Passed it up on the boards to Pool Party, who almost has it taken from him by Turcotte, but he managed to keep it. What was that? He, nothing even happened. He just gave them the puck. That's what it looked like anyway. Um, yeah, whoever that was is sus, and we should maybe vote them out. But anyway, Deno gets the rebound. He's on the back door, and that will put the boys back in the lead. Fire me up. Oh, yeah? Don't do it. He's probably upset that I butchered his name. Gonna rip one past me, but I'm gonna do everything I can to prevent that. I like the fact that we're getting some fourth line minutes here. Ratcliffe is out there. Let's go, boys. Roll four lines. Absolutely. Dano is battling for it with... <laughs> Let's just... There was just a lot of people there. That was a tornado. Oh, my word. What a hit. Nice try. That wasn't the strongest shot in the world. But it still almost found its way through. Okay, Fiala. He's in. Over the blue line. Gets hit against the boards. And now Barabanov goes in the middle to Philippe Dano. Over the red line. Come on, boys. Get the insurance marker. Come on. Get the insurance marker. You know you want to do it. There's Copastar. He has it. Gets it to... Oh! Oh, my word. <laughs> that was terrifying, man. My heart was, like, not ready for all of that. Game of Polinko just occurred in front of us. And somehow it managed to stay out of the net. Which I am very thankful for. Draw a win. And they have it down low now. But we are getting in their way. Which is crucial. We have two and a half to go here. And honestly, the boys are playing pretty good. So I think we do have a shot here at preventing this from going to overtime. Oh, don't you dare. Thought he was going to take that same blocker shot. McDavid is there to pick up the puck along the boards. Gets it to Kyler. Back to McDavid. If he got it back to Yams. And that went in. 
Holy crap, what a give and go that would have been. All right, they're in. Gus Nyquist goes to take a shot. That will be blocked. The net is empty for the LA Kings. Can we put home an empty netter here? Oh, we have a power play. That's massive. Actually, no, it's not. No, it is not. If last episode taught me anything, it's that power play don't mean crap because they can easily blaze down the ice and rip one past me. So I'm not trusting this whatsoever. Velarde, he's carrying it. Their goalie is being pulled yet again. Dano gets it to Yamamoto. They're giving him room and he tries to take a shot. It gets blocked, but the rebound will not be blocked. That is an empty netter. We now have a two goal lead, 15 seconds to go. It's looking like we're gonna escape LA with two points. And on top of that, we might have a 900 save percentage as well, which is a bonus. Pool party gets hit right in front of the LA bench there. Nice play. Ooh, okay, I like it. Good passing. Hmm, got rocked there, it's okay. One second, they're not getting a shot. Nice, solid performance from the lads. How many shots they end up with? 22, I'll take it. That is in fact a 900 save percentage. So, I'm down with all of that. A win plus the 900 is a massive dub in my book. What's up, James? Right, let's let's hear it. And all you fans What's a poolie all anyway? What does that even mean? The Oilers were on the road up against the Kings. Edmonton proved to be a little too much to handle in this night. Mm -hmm. The Blues had a tall order to fill as they tried to take two on the road against the Predators. L St. Louis L turned it up in the are we in against the Knights? Position. We are. Okay, that zipped James. So let's see here. Boom. Lots of wild happenings on the ice Boom. Tonight. Let's take a look at some of the scores of what went down. Let's jump into the this Oilers one. Then I'll just sim like four or five in a row. Edmonton powers their way to victory in this one. We did do that. 100% we did that. Okay, so... Uh, you know what, let's actually, let's wear our reverse retros, and they have an alternate that they're going to be wearing. Yep, looks good to me. They have Latang, interesting, who passes it to Chandler, rips a slap shot, and that will be directed aside. Oh, we are on the PK. That would have been nice to know. I guess I probably could have just looked at the scoreboard thing in the sim and would have known that, but yeah, they have... Third, well, now only 10 seconds left on the power play, and it looks like that will do it. So we're back to even strength here. Tie hockey game, third period. Let's go Oilers. Dano, ooh, I thought he was going to get dropped, but no, he kind of managed to firm that. a boy. Here comes Jackery. Oh, he did not firm that. Got dropped like a two-foot putt. Yeah? What a shot. That was a bullet. Howitzer, if you will. Nice try. I appreciate that. Nuge. Ooh, that's going to be kicked aside. And Latang battling for it, but we are headed to the power play this time. Good stuff. Latang taking two minutes. Let's see if we can capitalize. Nice pass. Wow, that was sick. Robin Leonard did not stand a chance. The fact that he was even close impresses me. But that play was superb. Johnny Superb, man. Holy pass. And boom. <laughs> How you doing? What a goal from the lads. Edmonton Oilers in the lead. All right, all right. They're going to try to tie it up right away here. They are going to try their best. Save that one from March or so. Up close and personal. Petrangelo trying to walk in now. Oh, yeah. I actually tried to pass that over to Giordano. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not upset that the game rejected me. Okay. Face off to the left of TJ. They have a lot of X-Factors on this Golden Knights team. I think they about match us, as a matter of fact. Oh no. They're gonna go back door. Thank you! The defense finally got there to sort of, you know, shut that option down. I thought that was going in, and I was very upset. Theodore loses it at the point. Now Pool Party carrying it down the ice. He's in over the blue line. Ooh, manages to sneak by. No? Yeah? Good battle. Love it. There's been a lot of corner battles in this one. Petrangelo puts it up to Dadanov, the man who had his trade reversed. Oh! I swear, dude. I swear if that went in, I would have done nothing. Other than complain. <laughs> Pretty much. But still, I would have complained. So, 
yeah, I, I wish that uh, stuff like that doesn't happen in the future because I'm sick and tired of me making a save and it's still somehow getting through me. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, nice. Yamamoto in the corner, kicks it down low and Giordano will be there to pick it up. Let's go. Gio gets it out. Passes it to McDavid. What a pass. What a play from Giordano there. What a veteran play. Petrangelo up to Nolan Patrick. Back over to Chandler. Still sad he's not a capital anymore. That will be stopped. He goes back to Theodore who gets an X-Factor shot. Don't know what his ability, or sorry, his X-Factor is. But he got it nonetheless. Unless it was just an ability. I'm not sure. Could have just been an ability. Oh, Nuge walks out. Nice pass. But a splendid, a splendid blocker save from Robin. Batman sidekick. All right, another draw in the Golden Knights zone. McDavid wins it clean. Barry goes to Nurse. Back down low to McDavid. Ooh, man, I love the passing that we're doing right now. Pretty solid. William Carlson battling Nuge, but Nuge will emerge victorious. Gets it to Yamamoto, who's now battling two guys and almost makes them own goal. Nurse carrying it down low. Nice pass to Yamamoto. Oh my days. The boys are flying out there right now. This is a thing of beauty. Okay, Carrier. Nice try. You know, well, they probably will score on me like that again. Same way. Coming in on that side. Just shoot high blocker. I'll go to attempt to make the save. And I will end up putting it in the net myself. But we have a penalty to kill here, which is unfortunate. Two minutes. One man down. And a one goal lead for the Edmonton Oilers that could potentially be spoiled here in these next two minutes. But hopefully not. Hopefully we can kill it off with our like 80 whatever it was percent penalty kill. 84.5 it was at the time, I think. But I'm assuming it's changed a little bit since then as... I know for a fact we killed off one penalty in this game, the one I jumped into with, and we killed off the penalty in the last game where we had the 84.5. So, yeah, I'm thinking might have adjusted just a little bit. Here's Jack. He gets it to Chandler again. That will be stopped once more. Puck is sent down the ice, and that is the first half of the penalty killed. Eichel with it gets it to... Chandler, who goes in the middle to Marcheseau. Oh no, don't like it. Yeah, blocker save. Michael trying to walk out. Oh, what a save. What a absolute save. Poke check it, that didn't work. Another stop. Oh my word. This is ridiculous right now. I'm glad I remembered to poke check though. That is good. Michael to Petrangelo, try to walk in. Please get the puck out. This is not fun for me. It's about time, honestly. That was just bound to happen. No, no, no. Not not two in a row. Not two in a row. Surely there's no way they get two in a row. Petrangelo. To Dadanov. Smother it, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not out. Getting risky here. Over to Yams, who passes to Bouchard. Carrying it up. He's in over the blue line. Oh, yeah. Nice. Stops up. Draws the Golden Knights players to him. Yamamoto sending it around the boards. But Shea Theodore... We'll pick that one up. All right. March to Eichel. That will be stopped by the left mini wheat. Now the Oilers breaking back the other way. Come on, Giordano. Let's go. Love it. That's a good shot. Yeah, rebound. Let's go. The same save animation from Robin Leonard, which is very odd. For some reason, I'm paranoid that my stuff isn't recording right now, but I think we're good. Yeah, that was a beautiful goal. Robin Leonard trying to make the dramatic save once again. Oh, wheels. Let this guy go. Are they going to speed it up big time? Oh, wow. It's just a really long replay. Boom. And sends it home. Fire me vertical. That puts us back in the lead. And now we have 5 minutes and 48 seconds to go. And a one goal lead in our favor once more. Letang, the guy who tied it up last time. He's fuming. He's like, I thought, oh, ho, ho, ho. that would have sucked. And in that circumstance, it would have been better if I was actually hugging the post. Nice shot. Yamamoto gets his own rebound. The insurance marker is there with four minutes to go. 
Oilers are playing ridiculous out there today. I want to see the replay of this goal. Just the individual effort from this guy. Kyler Yamamoto walks out, boom, and he sends it home right over the left pillow. Lovely. I am very happy with a two-goal lead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, flying poke check! Oh, yeah. All day. I think I actually caught him with the stick, too. I'm pretty sure that the flying poke check was actually a flying poke check and not just a... I'm putting my whole body in the way in hopes that you can't get around it. So that is probably the first time I've ever actually saved it with the poke check part, I want to say. If not, then it's a, it's a rarity for sure. Dadanov dangling himself. And now McDavid's headed back the other way. Nice. All right. What an individual effort from Connor McDusty now. We're celebrating in the midst of like four Golden Knight players. Okay, let me see this again. Let me see this again, McDavid. You legend. Gets in. Oh. It's interesting. Okay, this guy just has tons of abilities, but what a goal. So we're definitely coming out of here with two points, which I think we got a total of four points here in our first two games. Amazing. Considering we're already third in the league, or we were at least at the start of this episode. Yeah, like, we're we're buzzing this year. Imagine I asked for a trade and then <laughs> ended up coming and looking at the standings and saw that Edmonton was, like, second. That would have been very upsetting. But, yeah, I obviously wanted to wait and see what was going to happen and not just jump to a conclusion right away and ask for a trade. So I'm glad that I did that. And now here we are. A solid 6-3 to three victory over the Golden... Oh, almost 7-3. Over the Golden Knights here in... Vegas and that is gonna be a pretty solid performance from TJ as well. I think yeah, they had 44 shots Wow, that's got to be show me the stars. That's got to be at least second star at least but we did have six goals so probably have a lot of players that could get the You know stars as well. Okay, so maybe I didn't earn one unless I'm first star, but I kind of feel like probably not No McDavid. All right. Well, we tried anyway Solid game. We got to simulate four or five now. It's just sort of random, I suppose. Doesn't matter too much, but let's see what James has to okay, say. Everybody, let's take a quick look at some of the final scores. Just a quick one. Tonight. The Oilers look to run rough shot over the Golden Knights. We sure did. Edmonton pulverizes their Beautiful. opponents with a big offensive night. The Blue Jackets Ooh. had an on ice collision with the Capitals. Columbus taps into another gear and pick up the two points in the win. The Flames were hoping to come up with two points on the road against the Canucks. How far are they come up to challenge a shoot? Their opponents into submission okay. with a big offensive output. Don't know if it affects simulation or not, but... Break, but we got a lot more coming your way next. Battle of Alberta coming up here. Let's see what he wants. Oh, this is probably the investment thing I made, right? All with right, that restaurant. Time, everyone. We'll catch you up on what went down and all the action in the league tonight. The Hawks Ooh. were hoping to play spoiler against the Predators. Okay. Chicago okay. Terrorized the opposition. Nice. I didn't even know they had this in the game. Offensive display. The Kings like Tino Manny never got any chances like that. Oh. Against the Kraken. Seattle pads the We're first in the league. We are first in the league. Battle of Alberta. Oh my days. Hey, no okay. And, and drama nice. Big Let's dub. Take a look at what happened elsewhere. Let's the do it, James. Took to the ice to battle the Predators. Beautiful. Chicago tees up a strong that is one offensive game. game, and they easily pick up the win. The Kings took on the Kraken. Enough, James. You know what? No. I've just decided right now I've had enough of you. Time to face the Vancouver Canucks. First period. Ooh, I like that. Second period. Don't like that. Do not like that at all. Wow. That sucks. What a brutal meltdown in that second period. Thatcher Demko having the game of his life. That's okay. We are bound to... Take an L eventually. And of course, we lose one game and move to second. James, no. Battle of Alberta again. Holy crap. First period. Okay. That's all right. Second. Not all right. Third. Ah. Oh, well. It is what it is. That's two Ls in a row. Three stars. There you have it. Warren Fogle with two tucks on the night. That is two games simulated, I think. Now we're headed to California to take on the Sharks, but Pavel will be a net for that one. He gets us a dub. Great stuff. And we're in against the Mini Wild. See how this one will go. First period. E. Not good. Second period. 
Okay, a little redemption there. Third. Oh, I mean, my stats are still awful, but we've won. So I'll take it. Unreal. 6-4-W. Three stars. Uh, there you have it. Boldy putting up two. Congrats to you, sir. And that is the third game, I believe. So I'll sim one more and we'll call it a day. What's up, McDusty? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Uh, some of us are going to spend the day at the zoo in Minneapolis. Uh, sure. Why not? Let's go. Neutral. And... Ooh. Hmm. Ah, teammates can hate me if they want. It's okay. They already love me enough. Cool. That was a successful conversation. Washington Capitals. They are 15th in the league right now. With a record of 19-13-3. With our coach. Uh-oh. This is worrisome. He doesn't look, he doesn't look too fuming. Okay. Yeah, he's not happy. Well, you know what? You're getting a star answer anyway. Screw you, sir. I can't even charm. Let's go promise and end conversation. What did I promise him? Like a shutout over the next... Allow a max of one goal next game? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, let's see if I can meet the coach's expectations of one goal allowed in this game. All right, we cannot let in any more. Yeah, we are not achieving what the coach wants us to. That sucks. Ooh, overtime. Okay, shootout. Nice. That's a solid game. Solid two points right there. And first star from your boy. But of course, I'm still going to get... What are you doing out there? I told you I only let in one goal. You suck. Just wait for it. I'm talking to Connor again. Just like, The meetings come in spurts. Like, it's crazy. When it rains, it pours. Sure, let's go. Wherever you want to go, man. I don't care anymore. End that conversation. And get me out of here. Boom. Thanks. Great talking to you, McDusty, as always. What a pleasant experience. Okay, we have a conversation with our coach where he's going to ream us out for failing. Let's see. Yeah, I'm a little upset, but at the same time, I'm happy you performed well. Okay. All right. I see you. Yeah. So I think that's about it. I'm going to check the stats before I forget. And actually, it's not so much these jerseys that remind me of... Well, these two... But there's also that, like, weird jersey that I can't even explain. But it has, like, the oil thing on it. I, it's like a gear. I think it's a gear. Maybe. Maybe I'm crazy. But that jersey reminds me of Ryan Smith. Okay. Anyway, Stats Central. How the boys doing? Team Stats. Currently, we are first in the division. And in the league, we are second to the New York Rangers. And they have three games on us. Wow. We have the most games played. So, we are... Definitely not comfortably sitting in second, but still doing all right. Montreal, who's our next opponent right here in 10th. McDavid spiked up to overpoint a game, 42 and 38 now. Nuge at 30. Dry Settle fell back off with a dash 15 and 25. I have no idea what's going on with that second line, but they are not clicking whatsoever. All right, let's have a look at the goaltenders. We have TJ, 19 Ws, 19, 6 and 3 with a 9, 12 and 243. Pavel doing pretty solid as well. Let's go to the entire league just to see how things are shaping up there. Vasilevsky with 20 dubs. We're right there, Jake. Or sorry, yeah. Jake Ottinger doing pretty solid at 82 overall. Look at him go. Attaboy. Uh, yeah, so this is the top goalies at the moment. We are third. If we go to the skaters, we have Patrick Kane with 47. McKinnon, 46. Suzuki, 46. Let's go. Line A, 44. All right, there you have it. McDavid is up there. He is up there, so that's good to see. Anything else that I need to check? I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it. So we got Montreal to start next episode, and I will see you then.